Nick, lovely to, lovely, lovely to see you back. Um, um, what a delightful young lady. Well, uh, she's also a great, uh, a great character, and uh, she's really good for, for tennis. She's humorous, and winning that title uh, inspires so many people, the young people from China. Because when you have somebody win representing your country, the kids get excited. The one thing I would like to say is, in the beginning, what's so important to have children play the game is to build their character and their personality and to prepare them for life. Not to be a champion, but to prepare them for life. And that's why those programs that you have throughout the cities are very, very important. No, that's wonderful. Hey, Nick, how, how, how long has it been since you've been here? I think the last time I was here uh, was with uh, Serena, um, and, and Venus. Um, over the years, I've spent a lot of time here. Um, it's a long trip, but it's a worthwhile trip because the people here are genuine. And they're great fans, and even though their player from Australia might be playing, they're very neutral, and they root for everybody, and that's what makes Australia so special. Um, I plan to go surfing again. The last time I was here, I surfed at... Uh, Bunzai Beach and my bathing suit came off. So I, I was traveling down the beach trying to find my suit. So Wow. Um, that, that, I would have, did, did anyone take a photo? Um, I don't know which wife I was with that time, but uh, I don't think so. We, we, Wi-Fi works here now, by the way. So it was perfect. And did you know, actually, uh, uh, Josh told me today that Roger Federer follows you on Twitter. And he doesn't follow a lot of people. Well, that's a privilege because... Uh, there are only a few people like Roger Federer. Um, he, he helped me get into the Hall of Fame with a beautiful letter from him and Sampras. But what he does, he, he represents life, he, re he represents sport, and he's an idol, and children look at him. And it's very important that the champions have character and depth, and uh, that's why he's such a great guy. I've got three quick Cheeky questions. I've sure. got, I have to work with Jim Courier for a fortnight. He's an old mate of yours. You know him so well. God, he's difficult, isn't he? Well, Jim is a fierce competitor. When he came to the uh, academy, his mother wrote me a letter and, and said, Nick, would you change his backhand? He had a baseball grip. I said, to heck with the backhand. Hit all forehands in a big serve, and, and that he did. <laughs> he, sure, he, he sure did. Yeah, he's a fierce competitor and a great commentator. He is. Um, can I ask how old you are? Uh, I'm checking the passport. They've made a mistake. They have me going on 84, but it's actually, you should reverse that to 48 or something like that. You're going for, and can I, 84 years, wouldn't we all like to be swimming in Bondi with nothing on when we, you know? And, and, and can I be very cheeky? Sure. Um, your love life, your, um, your mar marriage? Well, I've always had a slogan, uh, marry him, don't date him. Uh, that's rather expensive. Uh, um, I'm with my eighth wife, but uh, I'm going my 11th anniversary, and uh, I'm very proud of two boys that we adopted from Ethiopia. Um, one is 10 and one is uh, seven, and uh, all we expect from them is to give two other young children a chance of hope and to, to achieve in life. That's brilliant. Nick's, that's absolutely superb. Nick's here um, for the coaches' conference. He spoke yesterday, and he's going to be giving another keynote. Nick, well, uh, who, would you, who would you like to see play one another? Agassi, Djokovic. Wow, Agassi and Djokovic. And why? Well, first of all, if you look through the history of tennis, I believe that Djokovic stands alone of not having a weakness. Not having a weakness. He does everything extremely well. Agassi is a great returner, great footwork. That would be a very interesting match to see those two guys play. Um, I believe it would be great because the people would see a real show. And, uh, you know, Djokovic is, is something special. But, of course, uh, we always remember Andre of what he br brought to the game. We love Andre. Uh, we love Andre. A four-time winner of the Australian Open and one of the many clients of yours that have done so well here. Nick, um, if I'm ever in trouble and I need a, um, a life coach, are you available? I think uh, an hour with you and I reckon I'd be uh, very motivated. Well, if you have $900 and now, baby, I have the time. <laughs> but I would like to say this. 
I might even give you a scholarship. I'd like to say this, Greg. Uh, it was an honor getting to open up the coaches' conference. Uh, it's an honor for me to be here. I'd like to thank my manager, Steve Schuler, who worked to do this. And I'd like to say you, you all do a great job. God bless you, everybody. Nick Voluntary, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you, Nick. You're an absolute gentleman. You are, you are a legend. And